do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied fundamental units and we have studied it very clearly that there are seven fundamental units and now we are going to study what is a derived units so let us see in a very deep detail and understand it very efficiently so now talking about derived units what are derived units actually the units of the physical quantities derived from the seven fundamental units are known as derived units means the units that we are going to talk about now recently will be basically will be the units that are been derived or that are been uh, used from the fundamental units that is the seven fundamental units so let me give you a small example of the few quantities uh, that have the unit which is a derived unit or which is used from the fundamental units like area volume density etc that might be for uh, the charge also and there are various things that we are going to learn about so now let us see a few example of it the first one is let me talk about a particular uh, quantity that is the area that we are uh, been hearing in our day to day life and we are observing also for searching a building or for something we use area right so therefore in this case area is nothing but length square that is length into length if we multiply length into length we will uh, get a value which is nothing but the area itself but in the seven fundamental units we have got to know that length has a unit of meter or uh, again again the length is been also used so therefore again the meter is been involved so therefore the si unit will be meter into meter which is nothing but meter square now talking about the next one so in this case if we see that this meter square is been derived from the fundamental units so therefore this all units that we are going to talk about recently we are going to talk about it now will be a derived unit and even this are been used and uh, uh, let's see the another one that is for density so density has a formula of mass divided by volume as you know so again when it comes to mass we know that the si unit of the mass is nothing but kg itself but when we talk about volume volume is nothing but length cube so therefore since the length has a unit of meter and we are making the volume as a uh, length cube which has a value of length cube will be nothing nothing but meter a cube so therefore the overall unit of the density is nothing but kg per meter cube and this unit is an si unit we could also write it in gram per uh, meter cube also but that won't be considered as si unit so this are the particular things that we should uh, concern or we should pay, pay proper attention on it so let me give you another example that is this examples that is concentration and electrochemical equivalence these are the two units or these are the two uh, quantities that you are going to study in chemical reactions during uh, numericals also or during solving numericals also and while doing research or while doing while studying chemistry so you are, these are the two things that you are going to learn this is based on electrochemistry while this is uh, based on everything that you are going to measure so let me talk about a deep detail about concentration concentration is nothing but moles divided by volume it is a, a particular uh, type of uh, unit that is moles divided by volume because there are further types of concentrations also different types of concentration that you could measure but in this case we have considered as mole divided by volume because the mole is a fundamental unit as well as volume is also been considered as a fundamental uh, quantity which has a unit of that is moles per uh, cubic meter that is moles per m cube so in this thing the concentration has a si unit of moles per m cube so talking about the next one that is electrochemical equivalent electrochemical equivalent is nothing but it has been used in uh, electrochemistry to measure a particular um, that is what what would be the equivalent weight of a particular substance and uh, and further thing that we are going to learn in future so now talking about electrochemical equivalent electrochemical equivalent is nothing but mass divided by current into time so again mass has a si unit uh, of or in which we have learned in fundamental unit as the, it has a uh, unit of kg 
and again when we talk about current and time current has a unit of ampere while time has a unit of seconds so if we multiply the current that is ampere into second we'll get an another new unit or kind of derived unit that we'll get that is nothing but coulomb and that coulomb is being mentioned as capital c so this were the few examples uh, and how could be derived a particular unit from a fundamental units and uh, we could make it a very easy in, in a very easy format for a particular thing when we evaluate in a kind of numerical or we search a particular uh, chapter electro uh, chapter some basic concept of chemistry and we are continuing the topic that is and in this thing we are going to learn we have learned that this derived units plays a very vital role in our research and in studying a particular thing might be in physics or might be in chemistry so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have got an idea that uh, what are derived units and they are being derived from fundamental units itself so share this video with your friends and yes i hope you have liked it so don't forget to subscribe eGita channel thank you so much